Hey everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to the fastest sedans video where I show the best fully upgraded sedans in terms of lap time. For all the information you need about this series, check that original sedans video, but otherwise let's see where the new Stafford falls into that list. And it's been quite a while since we've had a new sedan, it's been over a year and a half since our last addition to the sedans class, and I guess people weren't expecting the Stafford to be that quick, and it really isn't. All the way down in 24th place out of a 29 car strong sedans class as it is now, it gets a lap time of 1 minute 22.182, which puts it just ahead of the hearse, just behind the turreted limo, and yeah, it, it's, it's not that quick, you know. It does cost $1.2 million, so it's it's quite expensive. And, you know, if performance is your only thing, then you don't want to be spending that kind of money. It's, it's obviously meant to be more as a status symbol, I guess. It's quite re remarkable that a car like this could cost so much because there isn't really an awful lot to it in terms of modifications. There's a few livery options, but obviously it's not that quick either. It, it handles relatively well, you know, it, it's like a what you would expect from a bog standard sedan, pretty slow, decent amount of traction given the, the speed that it goes, but yeah, a 1 minute 22 really isn't very quick, and obviously you'll see the comparison at the end between this and the, the Shafter V12 armoured version, which is technically the number one in the sedans class, but obviously the regular Shafter V12 can be used as well, even though that's technically in the sports class, it is a big mess. But uh, yeah, the, you know, we haven't had a new sedan for, like I said, over a year and a half. And that's why we haven't seen a 2018 testing video for the sedans class, because the 2017 version is still current, correct and up to date. So if you want to see the lap times for all sedans in the game, you can just go check that video and it will still be correct. The playlist that I have for these uh, lap times and top speed series always lists the, the, the classes in the correct order. So you've got all of the the, um, the the most recent class videos at the top of the playlist in order for supercars, then updated vehicles for supercars, then sports cars, then any updates, and it just goes down the list like that. So yeah, you know, as you can see, the shaft of V12 just demolishes the Stafford around. I mean, it demolishes everything apart from the regular shaft of V12 as well. Um, the armored version is just, it's far and away quickest. But like I said, if you want to see the positions of all the stands, they are in that 2017 testing video, which hasn't changed. You know, it's been exactly the same for, uh, for quite a while. It is nice, I have to say, to be able to race sedans again. So for those who were unaware, there was a bug for the sedans and SUVs classes in races and it's been there for quite a while now where the camera would be sort of locked to the back of the car and any bump that you would go over would you know, bump the camera up it was quite uh, quite a, a it wasn't a very good feeling to be racing in those uh, those classes and that's why we didn't have uh, the SUVs class for example in the the latter half of the MCC is because we, it's basically impossible to to race because you would just get motion sickness from the camera. That has finally been fixed with this update, so you know it, it's good to just be able to race with sedans and SUVs again, and we will be seeing the Patriot Stretch SUV testing coming very shortly. But again, same thing with the SUVs. We haven't had a car for a long time, and the, the Patriot Stretch is just in there with all of the other vehicles from the 2017 video, which are all, as I said, linked in the playlist. So if you want to get an idea of what all the things that have changed in this update on this uh, sort of mini drip feed DLC day, go check out Central Gaming Hub. He does really good videos that go over everything, all the things that have changed, time trials, everything that it, that's new into the game as well. Uh, I'll leave a link to his video down below in the description. But that's it for this video. Remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, subscribe for more and consider supporting on Patreon or YouTube. Thank you all so much for watching, I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time.